Hello everyone and welcome back to Vault 88. I added a few more things to this area here. A TV, some vending machines, and I replaced the wooden shells with these because uh, the wooden shells just really didn't match. So, yeah. I'm still not sure about this area. But, I don't know. I think I still need to think about it a little bit more. I haven't really had a chance to, so... Let me know your thoughts on this. Should it stay this way? Or should I add something? Replace something? <laughs> I'm, I'm seriously uninspired by this corner. So, <laughs> I would appreciate your guys' input. Anyways. I suppose I could uh, assign a settler to the clothing store. And start getting some of these people to doing some stuff. Huh. Let's see. Guess you're our overseer. Yes, I am the overseer. Just can't lose. Uh, not you. Wow. Sorry, but you are one ugly woman. <laughs> I can't. How about you? How about you? Um, yeah, you come here. That woman almost looked like a man. That was, uh, I don't know. I guess some women are kind of masculine. Not that I'm, I don't mean to, you know, pick on masculine looking women. That wasn't what I meant to do. <laughs> I just, it's unusual to see in this game. That's all. All right, now. Um, be before I go do other stuff, other stuff, because I actually wanted to work some more on the armory and also the quarters. I don't know if I'll have time to do all that today, but I forgot to replace the bar here with the new bars. I mean, I'm not going to replace it. Uh, that's not what I want. I'm not going to replace it. I'm just going to add the actual... Let's see. We'll do this one. This thing. Because, yeah. So I need to move this bar out of the way. Okay, now, I've done some testing of this. Um, you know how I've always, like, just glitched these tier one bars, drink stands, into these. And then they have the ugly thing <laughs> there. Uh, you just rug glitch them in, except that you can't use the rug glitch on these because these are snappable objects and you can't rug glitch snappable objects. So, and you also can't um, use like the select all to put it in there, like with an ashtray or something, because then it won't go in, it'll be red. Anyway. I'm going to move these over here momentarily. Get it out of the way. You can rug glitch these bars into this one. So I'm going to put this one in first. Right where I want it. I guess probably by right on this line that would be best. Try to get it as centered as I can. That's good enough. Then we need to get a rug. And I like to choose rugs that match the floors that they're on top of. That way, in case I can't remove them, they don't look horrible. <laughs> um, let's see here. This is the closest one I could find that matches this floor. So then you also want to hide the rug as much as possible underneath the item. Then we want to put this in here so that it's the end goes centered and we want to completely hide. Yeah, that's a little too... I need to put this one back a little further. We need to completely hide this bar inside the other one, so let's try that.
There we go. That's perfect. It will stick out a little bit in the back, but that's okay. And maybe slightly over the line just so that it will sink into the other side. All right, now let's... Can I not fit through that? Okay, yes I can. <laughs> I thought I could. All right. in. Make sure it's straight. It's not straight. <laughs> All right. No, no, no. It's it's a little bit flickery in the middle, which I don't like. I need to... It's really hard to get it precise, you know? Because the controls really aren't that precise. I'm going to need to maybe fix the bar... sign... after I'm done. But maybe not. I can get it good enough. That's actually not too bad. It does flicker on the top, but sometimes you really can't avoid that when you're merging things together like this. You can always pull them apart a little bit more. Um, and of course, you know, it, it's also a preference thing if you guys don't want the flickering pull them apart just enough so that they don't, but I don't know. From a distance you can't see it, so I don't feel like it's a big deal, because I'm not going to personally go up and sit here myself, you know? <laughs> anyway, so then back here, it leaves the shelves on there just wide enough to, like, stick a couple bottles of beer on there. Most of the bottles will be back here anyway, though, so. That looks so much better than... Like back from back here, you can't I don't even think tell. I ever want to go up top again, overseer. Oh, good. Want to be a bartender? I bet you do. <laughs> there you go. And now, oh yes, he sure did. Did you see him take off? He like ran to it at first, and then he's like, "Wait a minute, everyone's watching." <laughs> All right, there we go. The bar is finished! Well, other than putting decorations in here, it's done! And look at that! From here it doesn't even look like there's a glitched in bar right there. Love it! Love it, love it, love it. Okay. <laughs> Let's do other things now. Um, I was going to decorate the this back here, the armory. I still haven't really had a t chance to think a whole lot about it, though. I've been catching up after my trip, and I just haven't really had a chance to do anything in this game today. So, I don't know if I'm going to do a whole lot in the armory. Um, maybe I'll put a few things in, and I'll do some more next time, because, yeah, I just... I could probably fix up the shooting range a little better. Like, I need to put some lights out there so it's not so dark. And I need to put some other like other types of targets out here. Also, 
I had an idea for to make this look a little bit more like a shooting range. I could. I see. I saw somebody else do this. Can't. I don't remember who did it, so I can't. Sorry, I can't credit you. But if you did it uh, before, then uh, thank you for the. Somebody on Twitter shared it, and I don't remember if it was somebody, one of my subscribers or somebody else's subscribers. <laughs> I don't know. I, I subscribe. I follow a lot of people, and I subscribe to a lot of different people. So it's hard to remember where I saw things. Just making it like, you know, you can come in here and shoot. Making a wall there. And I can make one here. So it's uh, protected, you know? So bullets don't go flying around hitting other people. And, uh, there. What do you think about that? I'm thinking that that isn't straight. So, let's fix that a little bit. I think that's better. Huh. Alright, well, no. No, it does. Maybe it is straight. No, it's not. Sorry, guys. I have to have it straight because I can tell I can tell when it's not straight and it drives me nuts it drives me absolutely nuts there that's better okay <sighs> now let's get some stuff in here like um, decorations like some weapons racks so I want to have I don't know maybe this wall right here could like have all the heavy weapons on it or whatever <laughs> just a few along here leave enough space for them to stick out each side maybe I can have one of each how many heavy weapons are there there's a minigun rocket launcher there's a Gatling laser, and I know there's one more. There's at least one more, right? The mm, flamer, yes. Okay. There's probably another one, too. Is the harpoon gun a heavy gun? Oh, well, this character hasn't even gone to Far Harbor yet, so it's not like I'm going to be getting a harpoon gun. <laughs> now... Maybe we can put some guns on the walls. Some pistols. And some... I'm not going to like cover it all the way because this isn't a gun shop. It's... Maybe I can put... Yeah, let's put some more pistols. I should do some Q&A, shouldn't I? I only did two questions last time. Sorry about that, guys. Last time I was really distracted, but I think that was probably because I was just really tired. Um, so somebody asks, you have told us what your husband thinks about your YouTube channel, but what do the rest of your family and friends think about it? They all think it's really pretty awesome. Um, at first, my mom wasn't too thrilled with the idea. She's always been one of those moms who never really approved of video games, you know. But, and so she always never really cared for me playing video games. Thought it was a waste of time and all that. But once my channel started making money and she saw that it was making money and saw how much it was making, she was like, yeah, she's fully on board now. She's like, oh, well, okay, sure, make game, make uh, videos about games. <laughs> At first she thought it was just an excuse for me to play games more. Yeah, But all my friends think it's really awesome, and they wish that they were into video games just as much as I am so that they could do it too. <laughs> but 
I don't know. They probably all don't think that, but some of them do. <laughs> all right, let's see. You know what? I think I'm going to put some mannequins over here. Armor mannequins that... Uh, maybe I'll put one on each side of a big old chest or something that they store armor in. Uh, or something like that. I don't know, whatever. Containers, that's what I want. Maybe that huge, maybe that big old vault 88 chest can go here. And it can just be like an armor storage place. Okay, that's odd. It won't let me center it. It can be off center, but it can't be centered. That doesn't make any sense. Really, really weird. Huh. Fine. Can I move this a little closer? No. Whatever. It doesn't have to be exact. <laughs> this is an armory, not a museum. <laughs> Normally it's going to start looking like a museum, isn't it? <laughs> um, I think I want to put some... I need to put some more rifle racks because I've only got three of them well six rifle racks you know but I have 12 of the pistol racks so I'm going to put some more rifle racks right here and what else well, next question are you going to get the Skyrim remastered for PS4 Presuming it has the promised mod support, or just stick to modded games on your new PC when you get it. Um, before I knew that I was going to be getting that PC, I was definitely, definitely going to play Skyrim Remastered. And I probably still will. I'll still do videos on it. I'm not sure if I'll do a Let's Play with it, though. If I have the PC version... I mean, I have the PC version of Skyrim already. But... Um... Wait a second. I'm I got to think what I'm doing here for a second. I wanted to get weapon workbenches. There we go. Um Yeah, what was I saying? I don't know. I'm still torn about that one. I'm not sure what I want to do yet with it. Um I can't put that there now. I suppose I could put it right there. Mm. Well, let's put it over here. I think it's odd that you can sink these almost all the way into the wall before they turn red. <laughs> I'm glad though, because then you can get them as close as possible to the. Thing. Only we don't want it sinking in. Yeah, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I know I could probably get better mods for it on on PC. But I guess we'll just have to wait and see. These are... Um, hello? Okay, they're stuck to each other. Whatever. <laughs> okay, that's odd. I just wanted those next to each other. I think it looks better that way. I don't know. I want them the same. I want them to same on both sides so that they all kind of match up, you know. There we go. That's better. And maybe now I'll put some more rifle racks over here. Anyway. Oh, um, I don't know if that answers your question, but yeah, there you go. I'm not sure. <laughs> I will definitely have uh, Skyrim Remastered on PS4 content. Like, I'll probably do mod reviews if it has the mod support. Shit, better. <laughs> um, and I might do other things with it, but I may do a Let's Play on my PC. I don't know, you guys. I don't know. We'll see. 
because when I do a, when I do a let's play, I kind of would almost like to do an alternate start. I I can't remember the last time I played the actual original start of the game. I have played more alternate starts than original starts, you know? And so it would be very hard for me to play the whole Helgen thing again, so I'm not sure if I want to. Anyway, that's just something to think about for me. You guys can give me your opinions, of course. I would love to hear what you guys think I should do about that. So, go ahead. I'm going to put a... Uh, I'll put right here so that you don't trip over the... The, f the forge as soon as you walk through the door. There. And... We need some tables, too. Sorry I'm not really doing much building today, but a lot of people actually have been wanting to see me decorate this room and other rooms. So, <laughs> I thought I would humor them. What kind of table should I put down here? I guess just this kind. Put a table here. Have some armor and weapons projects going on on it, you know? Maybe even one on this side. And, of course, we definitely will need one over here as well. You know, just sort of an extension of the workshop. And... What else? I could have tables going around these... The post here. Or, not around it all the way, but like on either side. Or I suppose I could put a table here. It just might not look very good. I don't know. What else? Over here, I'd kind of like to have a place for the guys who are practicing their shooting to, like, sit. You know, they, they might all be down here all at the same time and they have to take turns. Because there's only two slots here. Whatever these are called. Booths. I don't know what those are called. I, I've never been to a shooting range before. So they would be taking turns, you know, hanging out. So we need some sorts of chairs. What kind of chairs would we have for such a thing as this? Maybe these kinds. <laughs> Folding chairs. I don't know. Maybe we can have an assortment of chairs or a bench. Oh, I know. We could have a picnic table. There could be a picnic table. Um, let's put it over here. Could be a picnic table. And then we should put some, like a cola machine here. So they can get refreshments while they're practicing. And the cola machines aren't in uh, furniture, that's right. I, I always forget which miscellaneous tab it's in, you know? Various things. So let's put... Let's put a Nuka Cola. Ah, I hate that you have to rug glitch these back against the wall. That really annoys me. Um, while we're here, let's get... an ashtray and a radio one that plays diamond city radio what you can't even put it on the t table oh probably because this is one that has people um where they'll sit down and actually eat food at it so they don't let you put anything on it because then it might interrupt the animations. It's very annoying. That's why you can't put things on top of these or those. <sighs> okay, what was I gonna do? Yes, I was going to get the rug glitch. The rug glitch. I was gonna get the rug glitch out, everybody. <laughs> All right, let's do another question. Are you planning on playing No Man's Sky? If so, will you be making videos of it? 
this is another thing I'm not sure about. I was. I really wanted to play No Man's Sky. And I wanted to do it on my channel too, and I was actually doing thinking of doing live streams of it. However, since it came out, I have seen a lot of kind of not very glowing reviews of it. Like it's awesome and all that. But it sounds like it's only awesome for a little while. Like 15 hours I've heard. And then it starts getting really repetitive and boring. Whoops. And so I'm not sure if I want to. I don't know. It sounds like the kind of game that might fade away really quickly and I don't really want that kind of game on my channel because I want to be able to have content I can count on for a while and all that. I don't know. So anyway, I might still do it. I just haven't decided yet. So I guess we'll see. We'll wait and see. Yeah. Um, you know what? We need a cigarette. Uh, they are still in decorations, miscellaneous. We need a cigarette machine. These are back here a little further. There we go. Cigarette machine. Then we can put the ashtray next to it. There. Now, I need a different table to put the radio on. Bleh. <laughs> I wish the radios would fit on the shelves. That would be better, because then I could just put a shelf on the wall. Um, hmm. I know, we'll just stick this little card over here. It can have the radio on it. There. That's a little better. Mm, I don't know what else to do yet. What do you guys think so far? Is it starting to look look good? I, I don't know what else to put in here. I need to think about it a little more. And since this episode's already half over, I think I would like to go spend some time doing something else. I still need to think about the this area. And actually, <laughs> I forgot which tab the those paddle are they in defense? No, they're not in defense, are they? They're not in turrets. Those paddle, um... They're not traps, right? Those... Yeah, where are they? You guys, tell me where they are. Those, those paddle target things that you can shoot and they spin. I've never used one before, and so I don't even know what tab they're in. I can't be bothered to look right now, so... Let me know. Or not, whatever. I can always find them myself later. I'm just not going to take the time to do it right now. So, right now, I'm going to go back up and work on those hallways and quarters that I started yesterday. Okay. And we can also do another question. I... Did I answer the last one? Yes, I'm not sure about No Man's Sky. So... If if you got... Let me know what you guys think about that game. If you played it, or you've seen other people play it, or if you just heard reviews. Anything. Whatever. I'd like to hear your thoughts on... Oh, I forgot to put that door back. I'd like to hear your thoughts on that. Oh, yay. So it begins. Stay sharp. The overseer is watching us. Yeah. You're imagining things. <laughs> <laughs> you're an idiot. I was watching you, and you're being idiots. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Now, I thought about this. I gave it a little think- before I started recording this. There's only room for two rooms here. 
And there's no room to put stairs going up. Unless I only just have one room back here, which kind of, I don't know, seems a little bit pointless. So what I'm going to do, <laughs> excuse me, I'm going to make these not quarters, but something else, like maybe a school room, a classroom, or, and or, um, well, something else. <laughs> so for sure one maybe could be a classroom. I'm not sure what the next one should be. So. I, I saw somebody had given me some ideas in the comments of either my last episode or the one before that. But I can't remember what they are now. I need to go back and look. Okay. Next question. I only have a few left. What do you think of the confirmation of the next Fallout game, Fallout New Orleans? Is it actually confirmed? I don't know. I haven't heard. I thought it was just a rumor. <laughs> um, that's what I think about it. I think that it's just a rumor. I haven't actually seen any definite, like, yes, it's definitely going to be a thing. So. But I have been super busy and haven't really had a time to look at anything having to do with it. So, I don't know. Maybe that it has been confirmed and I just haven't noticed. Um... Fallout New Orleans. Let's just say that it does happen. What do I think of it? It's... I don't know. I'm not really one to get excited about things so far in advance. Especially, yeah, since it's not been confirmed. I'm... I'm really skeptical of it. But... Like, where the Fallout game takes place doesn't really matter to me. I mean, I'll like it no matter what, you know? And so I'm not... Yeah, I don't tend to get hyped about, like, the location. The only location I would get hyped about is if it happened in my hometown, you know? <laughs> that would be awesome. But it probably won't. Okay, there we go. I'm going to have a window in this room. Okay. Yeah, if it happened in Seattle, that would be cool. But they're doing that one um, Fallout Cascadia mod that will be coming out years from now. And it will be taking place in Seattle. And so, yeah, it would be just like Bethesda to release Fallout 5. Like, the year Fallout Cascadia is going to be released, and it would be, and the new Fallout 5 will take place in Seattle. It would totally be just like Bethesda to do something like that, wouldn't it? <sighs> and probably Cascadia would end up being better. <laughs> hey, I just wanted to say, I really appreciate everything you do for the vault. <laughs> Finally. Um, what am I trying to do here? I'm trying to find room pieces, and I'm not even in the room tab figures. Uh, okay. Um, let's do this room. Put the door on. Alright. Alright, so next question is... Do you know any other languages? Pig Latin doesn't count. I don't know any other languages fluently. I know little pieces of some other languages. Like, I was learning some other languages, but I never actually learned very much of any of them. I was learning... Well, my brother was learning Spanish um, for a long time, and it kind of rubbed off on me because... That was when we still lived at home, and he was, like, posting these little post-it notes all over the place with Spanish words on everything in our house, and some stuff kind of rubbed off on me, and he was constantly speaking Spanish phrases and stuff, so I actually did learn a few Spanish phrases. Um, uh, Mexican Spanish. In case you were wondering. And... Um, 
I used to have a friend in who lived in Norway, so I was learning Norwegian for a while. However, I don't remember a single word of it because that was a long time ago. And I have not tried to recall any of it for probably hmm, over 10 years. Yeah, it's been at least at least 10 years, probably more. So, and that's, that's, well, okay, I, I know Anglo-Saxon more than any of those languages. Not quite as much as I know Elvish, but I did study Anglo-Saxon a lot, which was also inspired by Lord of the Rings, because, you know, they have the, that's the language that the the Rohirrim speak, the writers of Rohan, they speak Anglo-Saxon. And I got to be, I studied that a ton, but it is a lot harder to learn than Elvish, so I didn't learn it as quickly. Um, but I actually was able to say quite a few phrases in it, and I could read it really fluently, and I could translate texts. It was just harder to recall things, like recall words and sentences, because it's a lot more complicated than modern English, so it's it's more like German, I guess, is what I've been told. I've never studied German, so I don't know if that's true, <laughs> but yeah, no, I love Anglo-Saxon. I wish I had time to learn it all the way. I like dead languages. I just really do. All right. There we go. So, what do you guys think of that? That is, I don't know, maybe like a classroom could be in one, maybe this one, or it could be in this one. They're the same size. I was just facing the other direction. So I did that because I couldn't put any more rooms past this, any more squares past this because the ceiling was too low, but I could stick them out farther than the one beneath because there was there was room up higher than there was lower. Anyways, so I forgot to add, I always forget to add the windows, which sort of annoys me because you have to take one side off in order to put them on and blah, blah, blah. So then I go and put both sides in and then I put furniture in and all that. And then it gets, you know, I wish they were clean. Seriously, has nobody even heard of soap? It just even water, you know? I suppose I don't really need to put windows in there. They probably do that so you can see them. Because if they were perfectly clean, it would be harder to see them. But they wouldn't have to be that dirty, right? Anyway. Alright, so one of these will be a classroom. And one of them will be something else I'm not sure what, though. I need to go back and look at that comment somebody wrote before because I liked the idea, but oh, I just can't for the life of me remember what it was. Huh. All right, now we still got some time left. Let's go not here, upstairs. Um, no, over here. Yeah, this way. <laughs> Get turned around sometimes. Let's build some quarters up here. Now that we have all the ceilings on that we want. It is a crying shame that I can't fill this in. <sighs> it is definitely a crying shame. And that I can't actually put anything back here either. Frustrating, oh well. All right, now I know for sure that I don't need these here because if I put anything here, it won't be these. <laughs> okay, now I'm thinking since this is my private elevator to my private overseer's office, I don't want to put quarters coming off of this hall. I can put a private room here, I'm thinking. For something. But I'm not sure what yet. So, I can put quarter coming off of that. Then a hallway going this way. I can build up, 
probably one more level above this? Maybe not quite even. I'm not sure. Over here, I mean. Over here, I can, I can build even higher, I think. I'm not sure about that either. <laughs> can you only build as high as the atrium? Can you build higher than the atrium? I haven't actually tried. Okay. Let's do this. Let's do this. So, what I'm going to do now, I need to get a hallway piece because the, let me see, I want the one with the doorway in it. Yeah, no, not that doorway. Um, hall to doorway, this one. I am i can't make a room coming straight off of that because, what is that for? I don't think I need that there. That must have been left over from something. <laughs> um, since the elevator wall sticks out extra far, if I just stuck a room onto the end of that piece there, it would not let me build a room off to this side because this is too fat. So I need to make a slight extension first. Whoops. So I'm going to put a room here. Um, store. No, this one. And it will be just... Um, I'm not sure what kind of room it should be. I just... I know that I want it to be, like, my room. But I have quarters already. So... I don't know. How far can I extend this out? I guess just to here. Hmm. I could build back here even. Stay sharp. The overseer's watching this. <laughs> okay, anyways, I'm going to put maybe just make it a little square room. I don't know. I need to come in here and see what that looks like. Oh, it's crooked. I don't know, it could be a storage room. Or something. <laughs> Whatever. Alright, well. Let's build out here now. Cause, um, or should I make it bigger than that? It can come out even this far. Hmm, I don't know. I, I haven't really thought about it. Well, let's stick. Let's stick our room here anyway. Um, this door. And then we can figure it out later. <laughs> the other side. After I get the quarters in here. The actual quarter pieces. <laughs> okay, let's do another question while I'm doing this. Um, oh, there's only two left. So I might not even have enough for the rest of the episode. But I will do them. And then you guys have definitely got to send me more. Or post more in the comments. Alright. The next question is... Have you heard of your... Have you heard of or seen Fallout Nuka Break series on YouTube? I have heard of it, but no, I have not watched it. No. So, <laughs> I'm not really sure what it all is about because I have not watched it. All right, this I think is what I'm going to do. I'm going to build a hallway that comes to a T here and part of it will go that way and I'll put a quarters on this side and I put quarters on the end and maybe they can actually be bigger quarters that can extend back here. I don't know. Let's try it. And I'll put two down this way as well. All righty then. All right. Yeah, no, I don't know anything about Nuka Break. I have seen it. Well, not seen it. I haven't watched it, but I have heard of it. Yeah. Um. I want the three way, I think. No, first I need a, <laughs> a little extendomatic thingy, then the three way. There. Boom! Alright. 
This is working so far. Let's put a door here. <sighs> um, which one is it? There we go. We're getting a lot done in this episode, aren't we? More than uh, I thought we would, actually. Getting, uh, getting time to be done, though, almost. So hopefully I can get this area right here at least finished before then. That would be nice. Um, there we go. And I believe that's probably as far as we can go with that one. Hopefully I can put a room here. And then we'll go this way. Um, that's not what I wanted to do, I don't think. I don't want to put... No, yes I do. Okay. Let's see. I need... This one? I want to put a door here. That's what I want to do. So that I can make this quarters here and then this one quarters here. <sighs> Let's see. I will be putting a door on each of these. I think. I think. Alright, well let's try it. Go on. Hey. All right. It's different, definitely different from the other side, but I think it's going to be fine. However, do I want to do a third level? Hmm. Because if I do, I need to leave room for stairs. I think maybe I might want to do a third level. I want a lot of settlers in here. But I need stuff like scattered all around the vault that they can do so they're not all crowded in the cafe all the time. Now I'm just trying to think. Should I put stairs here instead of quarters? I think maybe I will. I put stairs here instead. Going up to the next level. Let's try it see what it looks like. <laughs> Maybe these ones. Just, I don't want to fall off. Alright, let's see what that looks like. Going up. Okay. Yes, it is quite big up here. It's a lot bigger than down below. A lot bigger than down below. So then I can have the same amount of rooms on this side, over here. Hmm. I could have the corridor coming this way and have a room here. I can't put a room over the elevator, but I can I can put rooms over this. I could have a hallway going this way though. No. No, I don't need to. Oh well. Let's build what I have going down here so far, though. I think I think this will work. I think this stair will work being right here. And then, um, quarters here. All right, well, let's, let's build those. Let's, let's build all the different quarters. Let's put a cap on the end of this hallway and start building these. All right, the last question, and I don't know if this is even a real question, but somebody asked it for the Q&A, and so I have to answer them. Well, I don't have to answer them, I suppose, but, like, if I thought they were too personal, I obviously wouldn't answer them. Um, somebody asks, 
How awesome are you? One out of ten. <laughs> How awesome do I think I am? I am not going to answer that one. I choose to not answer it. You guys answer it for me, okay? You tell me how awesome I am. Actually, you do tell me that all the time. And I appreciate it. You guys are quite liberal with your praises, and I really enjoy reading it. It keeps me encouraged to continue on with my channel, so... You know, if you guys are all hating on me, I would be like, ah, this isn't even worth it. <laughs> but no, you guys really like what I do, I guess, so I'm I'm happy to continue doing it. Alright, let's see here. Just a regular door, I guess. Not regular, that's not what I meant to say. A straight door, not a corner door. Yes, I want a full-size room here. People were actually really begging me to do these quarters because they had lots of settlers. These are the people who are copying my vault piece by piece as if it were a tutorial. I don't mind people doing that. Um, yes, feel free. Feel free to copy it piece by piece. Just don't get upset with me if I change something later on down the line. This is my vault, and I want it the way I want it. And if you don't want to have to redo the part I redid, then don't. You don't have to. You totally don't have to. If you do want to, yeah, please don't complain about it. <sighs> because it's not like I did it on purpose to annoy you guys. I, I didn't, and I hate having to... I hate having to redo things myself, but sometimes I just really don't like what I did one time and then, you know, if you, if you're afraid of me, like, I, I guess it's a little late to be saying this. I should have said this like way back at the beginning, but I didn't know people were going to be copying me that closely. Um, you know what? We can make this two rooms and I am going to, I'm totally going to. Yeah, I didn't know people were going to copy me so closely when I first started the this this build. And so I didn't know to say this before, but oh, what was I going to say now? I totally lost my train of thought. <laughs> um Oh, fine. I was going to say something. This is what happens when I try to talk and build at the same time. I can't think straight. Oh, right. <laughs> I got it. It just took me a second. Sorry, guys. Um, if you haven't... If you're following along step by step. And don't want to run the risk of me like redoing something <laughs> maybe possibly don't uh, follow on step by step till you've watched the entire build first to make sure that I'm not going to redo something and then you can skip that part when you actually do follow along I don't know, just a suggestion. But like I said, it's probably too late now because people have been following along all this time. <laughs> okay, three more rooms for people to live in. What do you guys think of that? And this one has two rooms. And then up here we will build even more rooms. Wow, there's gonna be a lot. I need to have some maintenance rooms too. Not maintenance, storage rooms. Just like to put stuff in, whatever. Not like it really matters, but yeah. And I think I can build up here one more level too. But <laughs> I don't know, maybe I can't. I don't think I need to. I don't think I need to. <laughs> anyway. We are going to continue this in the next episode. This one is getting long. But we did actually build quite a bit today. 
Did some decorating, lots of building, some assigning of settlers to things, so that's cool. Yeah, let me know what you guys think of this. If you think that there could be some improvements to it, please let me know. If you think anything in here looks stupid and I should absolutely immediately remove it, tell me, because, yeah, I'm not in love with this myself, so I would, I would love to know. What you guys think? All right. Safe in the vault, overseer. I'm glad you're all so happy, my little minions. <laughs> anyway, all right. That's it for this episode, you guys. Please leave more Q and A questions in the comments below. I'm completely out of new of questions for next episode, so if you want Q and A next time leave them down below and until then everybody remember as always play safe play nice and have fun i'll see you later bye